What's good guys? Honest, hardworking Trucky Semit back again. We're in the new Yashio factory truck, heading back to Nico Circuit to go get Okachan's rental car and bring that back to Yashio factory. Um, it's gonna be a fun drive. I'm about halfway through it now, heading up there. I'm pretty wrecked and sore from yesterday. Um, it's been fun, let's just say that. Anyways, let's focus on driving and go pick up this car. Well, here we are, somewhere in uh, farmland and uh, getting the truck set up to grab the car. This place here is actually uh, a friend of uh, Okachan's, so we stored the car there overnight, and uh, it was pretty sketch driving this truck on these little farm roads, I I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty scary. Well, got it all loaded up on the tow truck. I just gotta uh, do the winch and all that kind of stuff and secure the car, so it definitely can't go anywhere. But uh, man, I love these these trucks, eh? Definitely gotta get one one day. This will be how I go to events in the future for sure with one of my own personal trucks like this. Something about out here at Nikko, I, I don't know what it is, but Japanese farmland, I love it. Absolutely love it, so pretty. It's epic. Sometimes Google Maps takes you on uh, weird roads in Japan, but this time I'm okay with this because this is like a little local toge or something and I'm in the loader truck, so this is just cracking me up. Um, it's still nice and wide though, so that's good. Sometimes Google Maps tries to take you on like bike roads and stuff and you don't even know. This would be so much fun in like a uh, uh, chassis, small air chassis or something. Speaking of which, I do have one on the back of the loader right now. Hmm, tempting. <laughs> Obviously no, it's not street registered so we can't do that. But uh, I'm loving this little foresty kind of, I don't think it's an actual toge at all because there's no tire marks anywhere and it's pretty close to a lot of farm housing so. No one's probably using it for that, but there's definitely a lot of dints and stuff in the side of the guardrails, so maybe some people have had fun in the past but don't anymore. Definitely really cool though. One thing about this road that Google took me on is you can see a lot of damage and landslides that happened from the typhoon. So pretty crazy actually. Anyways, oh damn, why is it? There's like a full on crowd up here of cyclists. <laughs> That's funny as. Oh, uh, they're, they're waiting at the lights like good cyclists. They're actually obeying the rules, these guys. They're normally pretty good here in Japan, actually. The, the actual real cyclists, I'm not talking about like the, the mums and dads or mama chetties driving around in the middle of the city. Those people suck. They like pull in front of you and don't even check. Those guys are generally pretty good and they all stick in packs here. They don't like take up the entire road and stuff either. It's really, really nice, actually. Anyways, let's get on the highway. A quick update for you guys got everything moved here I didn't film any of it because I'm in a huge rush I got to make the hospital in time uh, to get my eye fixed so I didn't have time to kind of film just kind of unload everything shuffle everything around and jump in the car um, I need to get back home by 3 p.m. so hopefully there's no traffic and I'll be home within the hour um, but I do have like a buffer of 45 minutes in case I do run into some traffic uh, and then we'll kind of pick up the vlog from there I guess probably gonna have an eye patch on it's gonna be fun it's been ages since we've been downstairs on the couch, but I am back home now. I'm in a fair bit of pain in my left eye. Um, I obviously made the appointment and everything like that. And uh, if you're squeamish or anything with needles going in eyeballs, probably hit the mute button, but still just watch the video maybe just because, anyways. Um, multiple needles in my eyeball. They actually found out it was a small piece of metal, which was from the blade that I was using, which was kind of like an air jigsaw kind of cutter thing. Uh, it, it was the tool that I was using to cut the plastic out of the dash. And um, what had happened was a bit of that blade had broken off and gone into my eye, which explains why I couldn't wash it out or anything, because if it was plastic, it would have just washed out. And what was happening was where it was lodged in my eye, it actually started rusting and it started like getting this ring around it of rust. So they managed to get the piece of metal out with a needle <laughs> And then they had to get like this other needles and get in there and dig out all the rust. So, um, most painful experience of my life, even when they numbed it, it was, it's such a weird feeling like, cause like I couldn't feel the pain of the needle, but I could feel them like cutting into my eyeball and ugh, it was so weird. And uh, there was just like tears flowing down my face and like my face was strapped into this thing. So I couldn't, uh, it was, it was weird. Anyways, so that was an experience and uh, with that, 
I'm actually gonna crash early tonight, so this video is probably gonna be a bit short, but I do have some stuff to show you that arrived, some stuff for the S15, and then some really cool stuff from one of you guys. So let's go take a look at that. Also guys, this is the assortment of different eye drops that I have to put in my eyes four times a day, and I can't put them all in at the same time. I have to wait five minutes between each one, and they all hurt like hell. So this box arrived from a guy called Jason, and I love your letter, mate. Dear Sam, after watching your episode where you bought the wide angle mirror, I decided to give them a try. I bought two Broadways off eBay, one for my wife's guys. Unfortunately, it wouldn't fit on my wife's 2013 Dodge Dart because the rear view is encased in a huge pod. However, it did fit on my 2011 Camry. I hope your Camry's starting that every morning, buddy. Um, blah, 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 blah. Unfortunately, he didn't like it, so he took it off. And instead of returning them, he thought he would pass them along um, and because he heard me say that I couldn't get them in Up Garage and that I can use them for projects or give them to people at Yashio Factory or give them away. But these are not like any normal Broadways. These are like the freaking awesome ones. So these are going on my car right away. Huge 300 mil ones. I'm so pumped to put that on the Sylvia and the Skyline. So definitely doing that. Um, and there's a second one down in here too, just like he said. So thank you so much, Jason. Really appreciate it, buddy. Um, that's so cool. I love it when you guys surprise me and send me things. For any of you guys that want to send me stuff, um, my PO box address is always down in the description. Also, Jason, I love your humor. Maybe you can use one on one of your wife's... Uh, oh, sorry. Maybe you can use one for your wife's RX-8 when she gets it. Not funny, dude. Well, I mean, it's funny, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, also, more parts arrived. Please ignore my mess here. Um, but this is just like, I just put everything on the floor um, until I sort it all out and what I'm doing. Uh, quickly, can I just say, if any of you guys are actually interested in this gauge that came from the S15, DM me on Instagram, first person to PayPal me $70. These are selling secondhand for $200 on Yahoo Auctions. So apparently they're kind of a big deal because they have some controller and stuff and it's like really good for... Uh, something to do with monitoring your power band. I don't know. Japanese people love them though. So yeah, $70, DM me, Instagram, and it's yours. I'll ship it anywhere in the world. I think like normal international shipping in Japan is literally only like 20 bucks everywhere or 25. Next box, Aeroflow pod filter. This is for the Skyline. The one that's on there, it's a bit old and yeah, needs replacing. So brand new one for that sucker. And then there's actually some other cool stuff in here. Da, 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 da. This is stuff for the Skyline too. Some brand new Ataka Garage stickers. We changed our logo at the start of this year and we've just been kind of like phasing out the old one slowly. And this is a new logo, so this is pretty sick. And I'm pretty pumped to have this because I can start sticking them at places. Uh, some Aeroflow fittings for my fuel surge tank that we're setting up on the Skyline, which you guys will find out about when we start rebuilding that after the S15's all completed. And uh, these are super cool. So if any of you guys are... Um, have uh, like aftermarket ECUs and you need a, a temperature and a pressure sensor, it's normally quite expensive because you want genuine, really good sensors, right? But you have to get two of everything because if you want temperature, that's one sensor. And if you want pressure, that's another sensor. Well, Bosch, the friggin' geniuses over there, the science amazing people, came up with a sensor that has it all combined in one. So if you see here, this may be hard for the camera to focus on, come on. Okay, so see how there's a little hole there? That's for pressure and the little tip there, the little nipple, that is for temperature. These things are awesome because all you need to do is just wire a few more plugs in and you're good to go. So a few more wires go to just one single plug. Plugs are here, so that's it, one sensor. Now this is not uh, 18 MPT. You just get this adapter, screw that sucker on there and then you can adapt it to pretty much any oil cooler block one sensor does temperature and pressure. So I got two, one to go into my fuel pressure regulator. So I will now know my temperature and pressure of fuel at all times on the Skyline. And I'm also gonna know my temperature and pressure of my oil at all times. How awesome is that? Um, I'm gonna, just, if any of you guys are interested in these for your builds, I'll put a link in the description for them uh, because these are a game changer, honestly. And I don't know why more people aren't using them. They're, they're kind of like, they're not a super new product that Bosch, um, like just made. They've had these for a while. I just think not many people actually know they exist. So I want to get them out there. And uh, we started selling and stocking them heaps um, through Otaku Garage because like no one's using them and they're amazing. So get amongst it. It's 
it's worth it. And they're not that expensive either. They're pretty fairly priced. So definitely check those out. Um, and then here's the best thing. S15 is getting a double din Pioneer head unit. This thing came all the way from the States, actually. I didn't go for one in Australia. This one's epic. It has the full CarPlay stuff integrated, so you know you can access all your apps and things like that through the iPhone, USB, all that kind of jazz. And then I just got some generic kind of Kenwood uh, peak power, 150 watts. I think like RMS is like 30, 40 watts, but I don't want like a crazy sound system in there. There's just no point in spending money on like putting an amplifier in there with then like, you know, tweeters and crossfaders and all that kind of stuff it's just not worth it so i just got some kind of like cheapest decent speakers like they're like i think uh, i think they cost me like 60 80 bucks each and i just got two sets of them one for the rear one for the front just so the thing has some pretty decent tunes and we got a head unit a nice head unit in there that doesn't look like the factory one um and then you may have seen in the other video let me go grab it real quick so you may have already seen me wearing this hoodie in the video where we sorted out the angle kit and the tie rod ends and all that kind of stuff and uh, brand new Otaku Garage hoodies, the uh, link's down in the description. Nice new logo on the back, here gunner down the side for Otaku Garage, and then uh, on the front, nice shield logo too. And they're a really comfortable hoodie, I've been enjoying wearing it, and I'm hoping to get a couple more soon. Just got one sample sent over so I could double check the quality and everything, and I'm pretty happy with it. So definitely grab yourself one, link is in the description for that. But otherwise guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. I know the video is kind of like, all over the place and short and mixed up but today was really just a huge write off like I had to go and pick up that car and then I was like short for time so I had to rush and not being able to film so much and all that kind of stuff but tomorrow is going to be insane I have to be awake at like 5 again so it's like 6 30 now I'm going to just quickly smash this video out on the hour and go to sleep so I can at least get more than three or four hours sleep I've literally been functioning uh yesterday I only slept for two and a half hours and then I drove for like eight hours today. It was a mission, lots of Starbucks and um, lots and lots of peanuts. That's what keeps me awake when I need to do long drives and I'm sleepy. I just keep nibbling on food. Good tip for you guys, by the way. Anyways, um, yeah, so sorry that the video is not super epic, but tomorrow's gonna be insane. Fixing the diff, fixing the exhaust manifold, getting the S15 driving again, as long as I don't find some other like huge catastrophic failure. Um, and I think the car will finally be dialed in. I also want to adjust the suspension a bit and then uh, probably on Sunday I'll install the stereo and then that thing's going to be pretty good for uh, the plans that we have for it. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. Start a conversation down in the comment section. You know what you need to do. Love you all. Peace out. Jamata.